When working with an Excel pivot table, you can face many different challenges and problems. And within the last lesson, I will try to reply to all of the questions I got uh, from the uh, past pivot table course participants. And the first question is, if I insert a pivot table and place uh, months on rows or any field on rows uh, and filter the data, for example, by category as we have it, uh, in here, you can see that I have 12 months together, but when I apply a filter for category B, December disappears. Is it possible to make sure all of the months appear on the list? Yes, it's possible by right clicking uh, the field settings, going to the layout and asking to show items with no data too. And as you can see, I can force December to appear back in my pivot table. The same technique applies to the uh, auto grouping of your dates that we can check in the second example. We insert a pivot table and use the auto group grouping feature by placing date on the rows shelf and sales on values shelf. At the moment, my uh, auto grouped date shows me only the months existing in the source table, but I can hit field settings and turn all the data on. This is going to have one disadvantage. You will have additional items that you probably will want to filter out to make them disappear from a pivot table. The last trick is very similar, but you use a bit different technique. This means I want uh, June to appear on my pivot table. So I add an empty cell with this uh, month to my date column. Then I insert a pivot table and check whether this June is appearing right now. Then I go back to my source table and remove June to restore the initial content of a table. And after refreshing everything, June disappears from a pivot table, but still is kept somewhere in the memory of a pivot table. So when you go back to your field settings and show items with no data, June is going to appear all the time there.